so hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem roman number to integer so let's read the problem statement out so we are given a string in roman number format the task is to convert it into an integer various symbols and their values are given below for example i represents a 1 v represents a 5 and so on and so forth for example if our input is v since v represents a 5 so we need to output 5 now the expected time complexity for this problem is going to be order of length of string and the expected space complexity is going to be order of 1 so let's understand this problem in more detail so we have written down the values here okay now one thing in order to do this problem we need to observe that in roman numbers any character cannot repeat more than thrice for example you write 3 as this but when you write 4 you don't write 4 like this right so it is written like this so let's take some examples in order to understand how can we write the integer part to it so for example if we take the example as xv it represents nothing but x stands for 10 and v represents for 5 so we write a 15 generally we sum up but this case tricky when let's say we have a example something such as excel iv okay so here x represents 10 l represents a 50 i represents 1 and v represents a 5 right now since here this value is lesser than this value so what we do we subtract the first value so we write minus 10 for this now since else value is greater than i value so we add 50 to it now 1 is smaller than 5 so subtract 1 from it and for the right part we add it up so minus 10 plus 50 is going to be min going to be 40 and plus 4 which is going to be 44 right now similarly if you take the example like this here x is 10 this is also 10 this stands for 1 1 and 1 now when both the values are equal you can simply add them up so this represents 20 plus 3 equal to 23 right now let's take some other example let's say bc xl okay so d represents 500 c represents 100 x represents 10 and l represents 50 right but here if you observe 500 is greater than 100 so we take positive sign for it 500 plus 100 and since 10 is lesser than 50 right and here 100 was also greater than 10 so that's why we added plus now 10 is lesser than 50 so we take the negative part and Now for fifty, we will be adding it up. So fifty five hundred plus hundred is going to be six hundred plus fifty six fifty minus ten six forty. So this is going to be your answer for this. So what you observed basically in Roman numbers, any character cannot repeat more than thrice, and if the character is lesser than the next character, so we get a subtraction sign. Okay. and in this way we can get our answer now how to solve this problem basically for all of this we can create a mapping right so you can take an ordered map in order to store all these characters right for example in the map we will be storing like i corresponds to 5 so i will be our key and 5 is going to be our value now we need to check for the next character only right so we can run a for loop for int i equal to 0 since we are concerned with the next character so i will be running till n minus 1 and not up to n right and i plus plus now we can simply compare the values of the two characters basically if let's say our unordered map is np so if the current character's value is lesser than the next character's value we will be adding it but the negative part so answer let's say our answer initially is going to be zero right so we can do this to our answer basically we can subtract it from our answer and otherwise if it is equal or it is greater we can add that up to our answer and in the end we can return our answer right 
in this way we can solve our problem so i hope you have understood the problem let's see the code so first of all we have created an unordered map which will be storing the key and values so i will be mapped to one similarly we will be mapped to five and so on we will be taking a sum which will be storing the last character because here if you see we are not doing anything for the last character right so we can add that last character simply because in the explanation also you saw like we were simply adding up the last character so we can initialize our sum from last characters now we will be iterating on the characters of the string for int i equal to 0 i less than s dot length minus 1 i plus plus if the current character's value is lesser than the next character's value we will be subtracting it from our answer and otherwise we can add that up to our answer and in the end we can return our answer so i hope you have understood the problem if you have any doubts write it down in the comments like this video if you have understood share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching